Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So, I have a multi-tool upgrade that we got from last episode, I think. I'm not sure, but we have one slot that we don't actually have on our multi-tool, so we can upgrade that. And hopefully we'll get something good for it, but um, let's give it a small upgrade. We, after that we can just store them um, indefinitely and then if we get another multi-tool for something else then we can always um, basically do that. So we're going to install that slot and I think this is the last one that we can actually apply to it. So already came pretty well equipped with all the uh, other slots. So we didn't get a boost one unfortunately but that's okay. It is a class A. If we want to upgrade it, I think we need quite a bit of nanites to get a class S. Oh, uh, yeah, 50,000 um, nanites to get a class S um, multi-tool, which I think upgrades all the stats for it, for all the weaponry and stuff, so we're not anywhere close to that. We're only like about halfway there, so I'm not too worried about it. And yeah, outside of that, uh, we still have one more planet to discover today. I'm pretty sure that I said that we were going to discover it. Um, what one was that? The activated copper, ammonia, and cobalt. So we'll check that one out today. I'll have to be a little bit careful because this is a conflict level 2 system, but. Um, now, where was that planet? I can't remember. I think it was somewhere over here. Looks like it might have a storm on it right now as well. Yeah, that's the one. But it's like a small moon, I think. Pretty sure it's a small moon. Uh, yeah, moon. Alright, so there is a storm on it right now. You can tell by the clouds and how the clouds are situated. So, we'll just hang out up here for a little bit until that clears up. Shouldn't take too long. Um, actually, we could just go in. And it should clear up whenever it's ready. It's just be a little harder to fly around. Because I can't really see the terrain with where everything is right now, but I'll make it down there and check it out. Thank you. 
Great, so I'm currently on this, uh, the same planet, and, uh, the storm has passed, but, um, it's an extreme world, so, like, the toxicity on this planet is, like, super high, and I found most of the creatures, but they're still too at large, the cave creature and a bird, and I've been trying to find the bird which is uncommon but I haven't had too much luck for it it's always active so I'm not sure whereabouts it is just keep kind of searching until I f find them all but it's pretty hard to find that particular one so I'm not sure if I can find it or not okay we need to get in our ship uh, we might try to find a um, cave next and maybe we'll get lucky with um, with that, Let's see if we can't find a cave, and um, maybe we'll be able to find the underground creature. Um, yeah, it's just going to be one of those things that we'll have to kind of try to find, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to find them all. The cave creature shouldn't be a problem, it's just that one bird that's going to be difficult to find, I think. Um, but we need to find a cave system that we can that might have a good chance so there's a cave there um, possibly a cave here there might be a cave in this area oh yeah there's probably a cave here okay we could land here check that out yeah there's a pretty big cave in this area okay let's do that we'll land here instead And I thought I saw... Yep, there we go. I think that's that bird thing that we needed. Hopefully if we go down here, we'll be able to uh, find the cave creature. We'll have to just wait a little bit, but... Okay. Um... Maybe that was the cave creature? Nope, that was the flying one. So we still have the cave creature to find, which shouldn't be as hard. Okay, so let's go this way. We'll scan some of the stuff up as well. So I'm currently still trying to find that cave creature. It says it's common, but it doesn't seem to be that common. So uh, I explored all these caves here and didn't come across anything that was nearby. So I'll just keep flying around until we find a pretty massive cave system and then we'll hope that we'll get it again. But I don't know, we can't really 
Uh, like, literally, I, I've been having really hard troubles trying to find this one creature. It looks like this is might be a good spot to check out. A little bit further away, but... We'll give it a, we'll give it a quick look. Let's see if we can't find anything in here. Okay, this is a lot bigger than what I had before, so it's quite possible it'll be in here. Just need to locate it, I guess. Oh, hold on a sec. Is this... Okay, it goes down to a lower part. Um, you know what? I think this might be another dead end one. Might be able to get through there. Okay, maybe not. Maybe there's nothing in this direction. This is where I wish having, like, if there was a um, way to scan, like, x ray for the uh, cave systems and stuff. For, like, technology, maybe. Maybe the devs can add that in the future, but. Kind of just like something that where you can look to see where the caves are in like one of these F, uh, or not F, is it? Yeah, it's like the F key where you can scan things. And it's not like the F1 or F2, it's just like literally the F key. But having like mode where you could x-ray to see where there's things behind the like voxels and stuff, that would be really handy in certain circumstances like this. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more cave systems around here. Oh, we got it right there. Might have just taken a little while for it to spawn, that's all. What does it look like? I am curious. Where is it? Oh, it's just a tiny little thing. Okay, so we're gonna go, um, I don't know where a ship is over there. So, we'll pop up over this cave system and then we'll get into our ship and then now Alright, so I was able to find all the water creatures and all the land creatures, but there's a couple cave creatures that are on this planet as well. 
Um, there's one rare and one uncommon, I think, uh, that are found underground. So we'll have to try to find that next episode. Um, though, I got all the water creatures, like I said, and all the land creatures have been scanned as well. There isn't any risk, I don't think, on this planet. Um, weather... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's like any huge weather risk to be on this planet during the day or night or anything like that, unlike our last world. But um, there, it is a corrupt world, so there are sentinels that can kind of wander around. There's one over there. If we're careful enough, I don't think we'll be like bothered by them. I haven't noticed that they're really interested in us, so as long as we don't attack them or break anything we should be fine and then you can kind of find them like laying in the ground like this as well which is kind of spooky to think but um yeah we'll have to um try to find the cave creatures next episode but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out